Hey everyone, I'm Jared Z, and I'm here in Omaha, Nebraska, taking photos on this beautiful morning. It is fall, finally, and it's chilly, but the leaves have not really changed or anything like that. It doesn't matter, it's a beautiful morning to take some photos. I've got with me the Fuji X100V, and I've also got the XE4 with the 50 millimeter F2. So I'm combining two different cameras with two different focal lengths to take some pictures at the cemetery that are gonna be pretty awesome because they're gonna show you two different perspectives. So I think this is a good place to start. It's a uh, mausoleum that's right in the sun and it looks amazing. So we get a lot of really harsh but pretty contrasting light um, and then we get a lot of shadows. All right, so a couple things about how I'm shooting is I'm shooting with the uh, Fuji JPEG simulation and I'm using the classic negative. It's a really cool contrasty film simulation. It's one of the unique things about Fuji that I absolutely just adore. It's really, really cool stuff. And uh, it also allows me to do quicker post-processing. I'm just shooting in JPEG so I don't have to do as much, you know, contrast adjustments and stuff with the raw files later on, which makes shooting sometimes more fun. And, probably all my 18 years of photography, I did manual mode pretty much every <laughs> every photo shoot I've ever been on, even like weddings and stuff like that. And uh, I was trained kind of to always do that. And I learned a lot, but I'm also at the point in my life, my career where I'm letting go and I'm embracing some of the fun and joy. So I'm using some auto modes, just limiting my ISO to 1600 and putting my camera on F2 for my aperture in order to get some of that cool background blur. So I just, you know, took some shots of full sun, of a mausoleum in full sun, and I'm gonna shoot this other mausoleum over here that is not in full sun, but it has some really amazing details. So let's check it out, and I'm gonna show you two different perspectives of the 35 millimeter and the 50 at this place too. One of the things I love doing is imagining my photos on a wall. So I don't print that much, like a lot of us don't print that much, but I do imagine if, we, I, was, if I was going to do a art show, what is the sequence of pictures that I would put on the wall that would tell some kind of a story? And that's what I'm gonna try to do here. There's a few tombstones over here on the left that have interesting architecture. They have interesting little statues. And this cemetery has a lot of people that um, they have their pictures, their, their portraits on the tombstone itself which is pretty interesting. It's a little different than some of the other cemeteries in the area. So I have this tombstone that has a statue on it, and I, I don't know if it's called a statue, if it's in a tomb, it's like a graveyard, I don't even know. It's a statue, and I, I have no idea. All right, so the last couple shots of the day, I've got some light shining through some trees behind this mausoleum. The mausoleum looks really cool, and uh, we're gonna get some different perspectives here and, uh, and, and go from there. So 
Uh, I'll show you some photos after this, and I hope you enjoyed everything you see. Let me know what you think, what else like, I could do to improve these videos, etc., etc. And uh, let's have some fun shooting Fuji and graveyards and all this kind of cool stuff going into the fall. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Thank you.